Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss AP points and what I'm doing to a lot all of the AP points I've got available to me. We're up to 90 now, which is a ton. And there's also been a pretty big shift in the ones that are useful, not only game to game from NHL 23 to 24, but as the game progresses. So in this video, I'm going to go over the ones I'm using now, the ones I'm starting to focus on, and more tied into how I play and maybe explain to you guys if you've got a certain play style, ones that you might want to prioritize. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. I just want to show you guys my lineup real quick. We've got McKinnon, McDavid, and Tara Vinan is my line number one. Line number two is Heatley, Gretzky, and Lemieux. Third is Gordie Howe, Austin Matthews, and Matthew Kachuk. And then rounding up the fourth line is Barzal, Duchesne, and Robertson. On the back end, we've got McCarr and Pronger, Hedman and Hamilton, and then Doughty and McCabe. What I want to talk about in terms of how you allot them or what I'd recommend is really load up on the players that are going to be on the ice for the majority of the game. So McDavid, Matt, McKinnon, and Tara Vinan, put a lot into them. And then your second line, as well i really don't like putting eight points on my third or fourth lines they're just not going to see the ice a ton there are exceptions i'll get on that in a second and then defensively i think all defensemen are definitely worth it but especially your top four you want to have a few staple abilities uh including shutdown or truculence but maybe in some offensive ones as well in net i think the only one that i would recommend is showstopper or light work i think those are the only ones that uh, really have any use and to be honest it really won't save you all that much so let's get into what i'm doing in terms of the ability point mix all right so my first line we'll talk over that we've got mckinnon i'm not using unstoppable force anymore i think that there is too many players in the player base using total controls and not in the old skill stick and because of that you're seeing guys charge up by holding down circle or b and they run at everyone right you're not seeing shove checks anymore and unstoppable force is so good or was so good because they would eliminate the stumble animation you'd get from when you're cycling in the zone or you're close to your opponent and they're shove checking you regardless if they had truculence or not. It was a fantastic ability and one of the best in the game. Because everyone is holding down circle, they're not going for shove checks. That's big hits. And Unstoppable Force just really isn't doing anything to negate that. If you get hit with that, you might not get completely knocked off the puck, but you're still going to stumble. And it, at the 8 AP cost, I think it's just not really worth it. So that being said, I am going back to edges and not because I noticed the cut, but because I like the speed that it keeps because I like to do stride D. So again, this is kind of more based on your game gameplay elite edges i've talked to, about this with you know players some of the best in the world including eki elite edges as the game goes along loses a lot of its usefulness because everyone's agility gets to 99 and then it loses a lot of its effectiveness however i think you do notice it with the stamina system because everyone gets tired so fast that when your stamina is in full elite edges kind of negates that a little bit in terms of the slowness that you're going to do when when you start making those deeks and whatnot so that's uh what i'm putting on pretty much everyone at least for a little while to see if I notice it, especially more than Unstoppable Force. Make it snappy. 100% the best ability offensively right now. It used to be close quarters, but close quarters has seen a pretty big nerf uh, this year and make it snappy with its cost and everything. Just in my opinion, is the, one of the best offensive abilities. You just have to flick up um, and uh, you will get a full power and accuracy shot on it regardless. I'm also putting wheels on. This is more of a test for myself because I want to see with wheels and elite edges, if you combine the two, you're essentially keeping 99 speed or whatever your speed is through any deeks and cuts as well and i just want to see if i notice it uh going forward on mcdavid i've got again make it snappy edges as well as shrug it off and wheels and then tara vinen edges make it snappy shrug it off and again shrug it off is i think what you want to use especially since the buff to shrug it off and truculence wiping out your stamina when you get hit so just kind of counter there uh second line danny heatley make it snappy edges i'm pretty much putting that on everyone that's just kind of a blanket statement i'm doing that for everyone the only other one that's a little bit different make it snappy gold on austin matthews uh quick draw uh i think having a centerman with gold or with gold or silver quick draw is important anytime that you absolutely need to win a draw going with quick draw i'm also going all silver abilities not out of choice but because all of my gold players have unstoppable force i'm just not using them um, I wish that they, I would have switched them and things like that, but I'm, you know, I think gold is far more effective than any of the silver abilities, but some of them, when it comes to animation basins, like make it snappy or edges, I really don't think it, you see that much of a downfall. Victor Hedman is getting shut down as well as Heat Seeker and Quick Pick. Um, I think that Heat Seeker, uh, if you are someone that goes for a lot of tip shots from the points, uh, I'm starting to use it all the time. The buff to Heat Seeker this year is noticeable, and it's going to depend on your play style. If you don't take one-timers and you take wrist shots uh, looking for 
for maybe low far side or just for tip heat seeker should be on your defenseman as many as you can get i'm putting a heat seeker on makar as well as wheels and edges not something i'd recommend but you got to utilize them correctly if you utilize kale makar the right way in which you bring the puck back with him and you beeline and make one cut off the rush makar can be very useful with edges and wheels if you don't do that and you just pass the puck relentlessly through the neutral zone on the breakout i wouldn't i wouldn't use that at all uh and that's really it i've even got heat seeker on dougie hamilton uh really all that we've got there truculence on anyone that is viable uh especially on pronger so let's get into a hut champs game and see what we can do How, dude one timers are in such a bad spot you can't even hit them when they're teed up for you that's a trip let's go oh my lord it's a nice poke right there i don't know why we went for michigan there but we did Nice po check at the line. Being real patient at the blue line, waiting for those po checks is nice. Rebound, maybe? Nah. Oh, my Lord, Robertson. Have one, brother. We got a berry on one of these. Go. What was that? Maybe time for one more. Let's go! <laughs> oh, literally only had time for that. Okay. Oh my god. The one button Michigan, dude. Skill move right there. Point three on the clock from Heater. We deserve to have a goal, so we'll take it any way we can get it. 12 shots to zero, 441 to 110. You know, only a one goal game. I'm happy I'm winning, but like, it should be a lot more, I think. Let's lock in. Let's get another. It's another good po check. Let's go. Wow, actually intercepted a pass there. Manually. I mean, dude. Rebound. I feel like my aim, when I aim a shot, it just doesn't go where I aim it. Like, I aimed that low for a rebound. Got none of that. What a read there. That's a great intercept. Rebound. Let's go. All right, that was a great goal. That was a great goal. A couple of good intercepts there. Read the breakout really well. Teravon and Potts home his own rebound. Let's go. All right, one more. Come on now. Let's go. Turbo just inside the bar. We take it. Dude, Teravinen has been money this game. All right, great second period. 29 shots to four. Let's end it. That's a bad breakout by me. Bad breakout by me. Good goal, good goal. Get back, Hamilton. Nice little fake of the goalie. You do the uh, L1 deke on a breakaway, by the way, to make everyone think that you're going for a, a goalie switch. I don't know what I was doing there. So whenever you're like giving up a breakaway, if you don't want to switch your goalie, just hold down L1. You'll do a crouch block, and everyone thinks that you're holding down L1 and X to switch to the goalie. And then just don't switch your goalie, and it messes people up quite a bit. Step up. Missed. That's a penalty, I think. Penalty shot? Oh, I guess. I mean, okay. We're just going to hold backhand. Honestly, just, just wait him out and assume backhand, and if he doesn't do it, then that's fine. Okay. A lot of people just go backhand, so. That was actually huge. It's only a two-goal game if he scores that. Okay. Kind of a messy play in front. A little bit of a messy play in front. Gross. Let's go. Let's go. GG's to Bellboy. And uh, yeah, we take that. 42 shots to 10. Tara Vinen led the way. He also had seven shots on goal. Not bad at all. I think I'm liking this AP build change. So let me know what you think about your ability points and if you agree or disagree. See you guys next episode.